Hi, this is Dr. Brandon Champ from Algoma University. I'm going to give a quick lesson today on how to condense a data set in Microsoft Excel. So what I've got here is a data set that has the Latin binomial for our collection of plant species, uh, the wood density taken from an online database, and some other information that I've accumulated over time. Now, what you want to pay attention to in this particular case is that some species here have uh, repeats, but other species uh, don't. So Quercus petraea has only one wood density value. Uh, Quercus rober, uh, rober has several values for wood density. So if I want to collect uh, the mean or average wood density value for a given set of species, I need to sort of deal with that. And I can't just set it up so I can record the same average of the same number of species in each case. Uh, there are some tricks to dealing with this. The first thing I'm going to do is highlight the collection here and sort them according to the first column, just so everything's in order. As you can see, they were a bit out of order. All right, so, uh, you know, again, you can see that there's one sample um, for Aves balsamia, so the average vol uh, wood density here is going to be 0.33. Um, for Acer nigrum, the same thing. Uh, but if you go down far enough, you'll start to see that there are some repeats. In this case, uh, Cryptomeria japonica has four given samples. So there's a three-step procedure for calculating the average of these um, pretty quickly relative to going through by hand and doing it. I'm going to give you a quick uh, example of how. You have to do three things. The first thing you have to do is get the sum total of wood density values for each species. So you have to come up with some uh, commands here that identify when there's more than one uh, sample per species and then add up these values iteratively. Because they're in order, um, because you've sorted them uh, in order, you can do this. So I'm going to quickly show you how using an if statement. So equals if, you know, open a bracket. I'm going to say Aves balsamia. If it equals the listing above it. In this case, it's just the title, um, and I'm, I'm saying that because I know that the, that if is going to be false. But if it is not false, uh, if they are equal, then comma, what you want to do is take this value, um, and with a little foresight, you can see what's coming next. And you want to add it to the value that's going to be in the cell above this. Uh, in this case, um, there's there's obviously not going to be any valuable information in E1. I'm going to enter it, but it won't refer to that anyway because the condition of Aves balsamia equaling the title here is, is false. Uh, and then if it is false, what you want to do is just go back and choose this single value. Okay, and you'll see the effect this has in a second. All right, so it records there. And what I'm going to do is drag this down so you can see the effect it has on the repeated sample, Cryptomeria japonica. And what you can see is where, with single samples, it's always equal to uh, you know, this, this individual sample. Um, but for Cryptomeria japonica, you can highlight these ones. You can see it's an accumulation. And, but the last value I get is actually the sum of all values for here. And you can imagine uh, quickly how I can use that to later calculate the average. All right, so I'm going to just copy this down for the entire collection. Now the next thing we need is, of course, to divide um, that sum value uh, by the number of samples. So in this case, it's 1, and in the case of uh, Cryptomeria japonica, it's 4. But we need to identify that, and there's a quick way we can do it using a similar approach, equals if. I'll do that beside. Uh, if this species equals this species, then we want to add 1 plus whatever was above, so it would be F1, otherwise 1. All right, and you can see now by copying this down, I'm going to go once again down to the bottom of Cryptomeria japonica, and you can see that it gets to four samples here, and if I go past, it'll flip back to 1. All right, if you're, if you're confused about what that code is, you can go back and, and learn all about if statements um, from, uh, from the help file, but, uh, or you can just look at this over and over and try to figure out what exactly I'm doing. I'm just going to fill this down. Now for the next section, I'm, I'm only going to calculate uh, the mean uh, if the value here is, uh, is less than the value here. All right, So that's an easy way of doing it, less than or equal to or, or whatever. So I'm just going to quickly label this the mean. This is number. 
right? Equals if, so in this case I'm going to go the other way. If this does not equal, okay, so open, close, or less than, greater than is not equal uh, in Excel, then this value, the one ahead of it, then I'm going to comma calculate this divided by this. Otherwise, I'm not going to do anything, and I'm just going to wait till I get to that condition. And that way I don't have too many re repetitions. So I'm going to copy this and fill it down. Let's uh, fill it down to our, our typical sample. You can see that for the first three replicates of Cryptomeria Japonica, it only it doesn't calculate anything, but it does calculate something for the last one. So I'm going to keep copying that down. That's exactly what I wanted to calculate the arithmetic mean. All right, so now once I get to this stage, um, I want to copy. So I selected them all, and I control C to copy. And then I want to paste it special just as the values. And the reason I'm going to do that is that now I'm going to highlight this entire list and I'm going to sort it. All right. My data does not have headers in this case, at least not the selection that I've had. Now I'm going to sort it to column G, which is the mean, from smallest to largest. And what this does is it filters out, essentially, the last re replicates. So now we have a list of just the species and their mean wood density value. So I, I could correct that to mean wood density. All right. And that's a quick way to, to take a list that has a, an irregular number of replicates per species and condense it into a collection of mean values. And you can use a similar approach to do that with uh, you know, measures of variance or, or standard deviation, etc. And there you have it.